because this uh, is very, very important for people to know who they want to become and be that and be happy with it. You will find in this country, you find somebody in their 40s, they are still fighting their north. Yes. They are still not excited with what they do every day. That waking up every day is another punishment because you just don't like your corner office. That's not who you are created to be. And choosing a career path also comes in line with your natural gifts. Everybody was given something by God that they need to accomplish on this earth. So whatever you do, you need to be successful in it. If it is becoming a policeman, become the best that there can be. If it is a politician, become the best that there can be. If it's a soldier, become the best that there can be. If it's a doctor, become the best that we there can be. If it's a nurse, and you be passionate with what you do every day. Yes. Uh, this moment, I know some parents may feel disappointed, some students may feel disappointed, because we have parents success to grades. Somebody thinks that for me to become successful I need to score this beautiful grade. Academics is good because I'm also a parent and actually a form one parent. So <laughs> uh, grades are important but at the end of it all it doesn't mean everything. Everything is not pegged to, to the grades. Yes. So for those who didn't score very beautiful grades, like you got a D, a strong D+, plus, you got an E, it is not that you're not intelligent. It's only that you are tested for things that you're not passionate about. If you got a test of what you're passionate about, you'd have scored an A. So choosing a career path will need to start with, what do I love doing? And we are in an era whereby uh, we just believe in the conventional careers. I've listened to you start the intro. Your intro was a hotelier, mm -hmm. was a teacher. Because these are the conventional yeah. careers health, that we know. You know? Health. <laughs> yes. So if uh, the prestigious career that we know is low, I'm taking low, I'm doing medicine, which is good because we need all these practitioners. Yes. But there are also other upcoming careers. And remember, we are headed for the fifth industrial revolution. So within no time, 60% of the careers will be phased out through automation. So you also have to be very cautious as you pick your career. Is this something that you can do? Lifetime. Will you be able to do it in the next 10 years? Or it will be some of the careers that we uh, will be phased out. Yes. And this is available. I know you're a journalist. You can look for this. You can look at the World Economic Forum, I think, for the past two years, yes. talking about the future of work. Where are we headed? What is the future of work in Africa? Because we are living in a global village. So as you make the decision of picking a career, stop thinking about the village that you come from. Stop thinking about the county that you come from. You should be able to work anywhere in the world with the skills that you will get. Yes. And looking at our country, we are big in exporting labor because we've exported labor all over the world. So it is uh, very, very critical for parents to make these decisions, not in in haste and not in copying. Some students just ask each other, hey, which course are you taking? I also want to take that. <laughs> <laughs> IT. Then yeah. very fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they go. Yeah. I've, we've had cases whereby a student goes, they are enrolling for a course, then they go and check the queues for this is very long, this is very short. Then they go then to like, the shortest uh, queue. Go to the shortest one. And they enroll for a course. Then halfway they're like, no, nah. this is not my cup of tea. Yeah. And you find somebody at the age of 24, they have done three, four courses, and they still don't know their niche because they are trying out. Because life is not try and error. The, you have the luxury of time when you're young, but when you are shaping your future, that yeah. luxury of time is not there. It goes away, isn't it? Yes. So... Let me dial it a little bit back then, and I want to put you on the spot. You said that you're a parent, and most of us now, these career decisions, career paths, that they were not left upon us to choose and decide on exactly what it is that um, we wanted to be. It, it was sort of imposed on us. I'll give you an example. 
I even told my father that I wanted to be a journalist from a very young age because I would tell that every time I watch TV, every time I listen to radio, every time I read a newspaper, I said, I want to do this. And I used to practice. I was in drama at a very young age. I used to tell my father, you see, I am practicing to be a journalist. But it wasn't for that. I was like, no, no, no. I mean, you're going to pass, I know. And if you pass, then you've got to pick a proper course, either in medicine or engineering. But then I wasn't for that. Right now, when you look at your family, and I know you're at a position then to examine your kid and be like, this is the place you could end up in. Do you think that even when it comes to career paths and career training, that the parents themselves first, the people of the responsibility to even fund the career path for their kids, they need to be informed on uh, how to identify or help their kids know what they really want? Because some of them do not know. Um, unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, this parenting age, Sometimes I'm speaking this with all humility as a, as a coach who meets parents every yeah. day. Something that I've done the last 20 years, sitting down with parents and young people and trying to map a future for the young person. And unfortunately, most parents want to live their dream through their children. Huh. Yes. <laughs> so these <laughs> parents wanted to become yeah. a lawyer. Ah. That didn't happen. So they want their child to so become kid a, is gonna be a lawyer. They wanted to do medicine. That didn't happen. So they force their children. To have a doctor in this family. Yes. And <laughs> the adult peer pressure yes. is huge to the parents because they want to say, my son is doing law, my son is doing engineering, this one is doing architecture, this one is doing medicine. It's good introduction, but are they happy with what they are doing? That's the question. Will they succeed? Mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, you've been able to walk into a hospital and you're in deep pain. And I'll give an example of myself. And here I go to a dentist and he has his headphones. He's just enjoying music. <laughs> Because perhaps this person was supposed to be a musician. Right. That is what you'd do best. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen that. Yeah. You go somewhere in a government office, you need help, or whatever office is even in private sector, somebody's yeah. in front office. This person is not a people's person. So the person talks to you like a militant. 